after installing Python, you get certain things installed on your computer. Uh, one of them is a coding environment for Python. It comes with the Python you installed. If you are working with a Windows computer like me, you, you should be able to open the coding environment by going to your start menu. I have it up here because I used it recently. If you do not see it up here, then you can just scroll down all the way down to P. Um, let's see P. And you see Python. I have different versions of Python installed on my computer, but I'll be working with 3.8. And so I'll come down here and select the Python coding environment here. So once I select this, uh, you see it opens up a shell for me. This shell, I can write Python in this place. So 3 point plus 3 gives me 6, 5 minus 2 gives me 3. And so it's also possible to um, create a file from here. I can decide to write my code in this shell. However, I can also write my code in a separate file. To do that, um, I could come here, file, and say new file. And then it opens up a file for you. Then the file is untitled because we've not saved it at all. And let me tell you the difference between these two windows now because they both look very similar and looks like why did we open two shell uh, windows? This is a like a command prompt, like a terminal where if I wanted to create a, um, a variable, we've not talked about variables, but if I wanted to create a variable, I would say something like var1, var1 to be equal to six. I can't go to the next line. I have to say enter. Do you see what happened now? I have to say enter. Then if I say var2, I have to say another enter. And then I can use var1 and var2 to get the answer. This is going to take a long time if I was going to be writing a lot of code. So using a file like this makes it easier. I can say var1 to be equal to 6, go to the next line, var2 to be equal to um, 7, and I can continue writing the code and then run the code rather than um, entering these things in the terminal, then waiting for it. I mean, it's just a lot of um, work to use the terminal. So most of the time, I'll create a separate page like this and write my code there. Then save it. Once you save it, you get it. Um, I'm going to add this to the desktop um, and just say test.py. So once you save it, the untitled leaves and then the name of the file actually appears. And I can then write my code to say print uh, var1 plus var2. And to run that code, I come up here and say run module. And I have to save before I run it, then you get my answer here. So basically, this is what comes with your um, Python installation if you are working with a Windows computer. However, I'm certain that if you even if you are not working with a Windows computer, Python still comes with a coding environment for you to work with. Uh, but there are other options to use in writing code. One of them is VS Code, which I'll be highlighting um, soon. I'll be telling you why you can use why you should use VS Code over this terminal right here. Uh, and, and as I go on in the tutorial too, I would also be using this to write some code and showing you the difference between using this and um, using VS Code or other IDEs.